for learning objective four in session 10, we want to look at are there other alternative definitions of OCF? Are there other ways to calculate? And again, if I have a full income statement, and uh, you can use these other three methods if there is no interest expense involved because we treat that as a financing cost. So if it's a simple income statement with no interest expense, we can just simply do other methods of OCF. Number one, a uh, traditional method is OCF equals EBIT plus D minus T. That is the traditional one, and you can use that for any case, even if your income statement includes interest expense. So that one's always the safe one, and we've learned that in chapters 2, 3, and uh, 10. Uh, another alternative approach, if you've built your income statement all the way down to net income, you can take NPA T plus D. Net income plus depreciation is equal to OCF. Quick and dirty bottom-up approach. Top-down approach, uh, sales minus cost minus taxes. Uh, is going top down on the income statement. And then finally, the tax yield approach. Sales minus cost times one minus the tax rate plus depreciation times the tax rate. The depreciation tax yield in this case is D times T. And you can do a sample uh, income statement and look at all four methods and you should come up with the same answer. Use a traditional approach on this income statement and take EBIT of 200 uh, plus depreciation of 600. Uh, minus taxes of 68, and you will get uh, should get 732. Do the bottom up MPAT plus D, 132 plus 600, and still get 732, and so on. Use all the methods of uh, alternate methods of calculating OCF. You should still get the same answer. The important fact here in one of these methods is depreciation tax shield. We said that depreciation is a non-cash expense, is a tax shield, and savings that results. The DTS is savings are savings that result from depreciation deduction, uh, which is just D times T. So you can quickly calculate the impact that depreciation has on your company by taking D times T.